Hey guys, I am so so excited to be back to filming and posting videos and editing and it's just making me so so happy. Hope you guys are having a great day so far and let's just get into the video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a winter favorites. I have not done a favorites video in so long and I just feel like it's very long overdue. The first category is like clothing. Either of these things are really clothing, but they're kind of clothing adjacent. So I kind of just decided to label them as clothing. But the first thing I got for Christmas last year, actually. Anyways, it's this like, I don't think I can like show the whole thing, but it's like this huge urban blanket jacket. It's so, so cute and soft. It has a lighter purple on the inside, a darker purple on the outside. It feels just like one of the Urban Outfitters blankets. And it is amazing to like wake up, get out of bed in the morning and just like throw this on. So the next thing that's kind of clothing adjacent, like I said, are these masks from Athleta. Let me tell you, my friends got me onto these masks and they're just like perfect for school, work, whatever. Um, because they're like, they're pretty breathable and the material is like really nice and they have one of the nose bendy things and they're super addressable. They come in all kinds of cute colors. Just so happy to have these. I just, I love them. Next category is kind of like random things. So the first kind of random item is the current Starbucks drink I've been loving and it is a hot oat milk latte with two pumps of caramel. It is so, so delicious. I am obsessed with it. Sometimes I get one pump of caramel, sometimes I get two. And I just got some Starbucks gift cards, so I've been definitely buying a lot of those recently. And I heard that the caramel latte is Taylor Swift's favorite drink, so of course. It has to be my favorite drink now. Just kidding. But like, yeah. Oh, and I also always get it with extra foam. I don't know what it is, but extra foam just tastes like so good. The next random thing are these claw clips. I have so many from Amazon. I really like the ones that are kind of like this style as opposed to like the other styles. I don't know. These just work best for my hair. I have pretty thin hair, but it's curly, so it's kind of like... It's very hard to like find clips that are gonna work on my hair, but these work perfectly. Like look how wide this opens. Like it literally opens 180. Is that right? Anyways, um, these are super cute. And I love them and they're super inexpensive. Next thing is this Glossier U perfume. It honestly smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Like every single time I smell this, wait, guys. Take a little sniff. Always wanted to have a signature scent. Oh. And now I do, so I'm very excited about that. This Puka Lemon Ginger and Manuka Honey Tea. This tea tastes so, so good. I don't need to put any sweetener in here because it already has the honey. And I think it's so relaxing to like have a cup of tea and like wind down before bed. So this is perfect for that. The next two things I've been loving are both books. I have been super into books recently, especially like seasonal books and like seasonal romance books. I've loved like the Unhoneymooners and People We Meet on Vacation. Those are more like the summery books I've been into or I was into during the summer. But currently I've been getting into like wintry books. The first book is called One Day in December. And let me tell you, the first thing about this book is it's based in London, which should tell you everything you need to know. And the cover art is cute, which should also tell you everything you need to know. And it's part of Reese's Book Club, which is mostly the reason I bought it. Also, the other reason I bought it was the cover art. Seriously, it's so good. The main character, Lari, basically meets this guy, or not meets this guy, but she sees this guy while she's on the bus. And the next few months, she spends just thinking about him and kind of like joking to her best friend, Sarah. And she's like, oh my gosh, like, I like, really want to search for him. I bet he's like my soulmate, yada, yada, yada. A few months later, Sarah brings home her new boyfriend and it's Jack, the guy she saw on the bus. And then basically the book kind of goes over the span of 10 years and just what happens between Laurie and Jack. And it goes between both of their perspectives. There's a Laurie chapter, a Jack chapter. I really like the books that come from two different perspectives. The next book I literally just finished while I was in San Francisco. It's called In a Holidays. And it's by Christina Lauren, which I just figured out it's actually two authors, Christina and Lauren. They're best friends. I thought that was adorable. I loved The Unhoneymooners, so I thought I'd have to get this. I actually got this book at a local coffee shop for only $5, so I was very excited. This book is like 300 and I think this book is like 400 Yeah, this book is a 400 This book's 300 And basically, this book, it's kind of like a Groundhog Day type book and it deals with like the manipulation of time which i love the main character her name is maylin she goes by like may she has a bunch of nicknames in the book anyways her name is maylin which i think is such a pretty name but basically as per usual in these kind of books i'm reading from the like inside cover she is not really living the life she doesn't have a great job she's 
has to live at home. But basically she's really excited because she's going to go into her family's cabin. They share this cabin with their family friends. They go like every Christmas. And she makes like a epic like romantic air. And then she kind of like makes this wish to like go back in time and fix everything. So she gets her wish and the rest of the book is kind of her trying to figure out what's gonna make her happy and i just think it's such a fun read kind of the ending was expected but it wasn't expected you know what i mean like it wasn't super predictable i don't love books that are super predictable like honestly both of these books are not very predictable which is what i like but they're still like cozy romance you know what i mean next few things are in the realm of hair care so the first thing is this batiste um dry shampoo this is the classic fresh one this is like the gigantic bottle because I use so much dry shampoo. Like seriously, ask any of my friends. I use an insane amount of dry shampoo, which is why you should trust me. And this one is probably by far the best dry shampoo I've ever used. It smells really good, it works really well, it lasts decently long, and I just love it. The next thing is this, it's a 10 Miracle Styling Serum. This stuff is awesome. It's perfect for like flyaways or when my hair gets really frizzy, and honestly, it's called it's a 10 but it's honestly an 11 out of 10 for me like it's so good works so well the only thing is just it's a little bit pricey but honestly kind of worth it the last hair care related thing is these like scrunchy like, i don't know how to describe it these like stretchy hair ties these are perfect for me and my hair they don't pull up my hair they come out really easily i always wear them for orange theory they don't hurt they don't tug and they're really inexpensive on Amazon or Target or wherever really. So the next category is skincare. So first product are these Mighty Patch. These are the invisible ones. I like the invisible ones and the original ones. Those are the only two I've tried, but both of them are so good. Seriously, all you have to do is just peel off these little patches, put them on your face and boom. You just put it on there for about eight hours. I usually just leave it overnight. Sometimes I honestly wear them to school since we wear masks anyways. You can't even really tell. And they just work so well and they're like a perfect little band-aid to cover up any like pimples you might have and they really stop me from like picking out my pimples if i have a little patch over them the next skincare thing is this hyaluronic acid this is so so good i use this every morning before i wash off and it just locks in moisture and it's so nice and it's relatively inexpensive and of course aquaphor i own every form of aquaphor i think you can imagine i own the little tubes i own these little bottles i own the bigger tube bottles i own the gigantic like huge bottle of aquaphor or tub of aquaphor i just can't get enough of it like seriously this stuff is like a miracle worker like it's so inexpensive and it can do so much it hydrates my lips it's like the only lip balm that really works for me um i use it on my eyelashes to help them grow i've also been using it on my face to do like the slugging tiktok trend i don't know if it really works but honestly i don't know my skin is so dry i just figured i should just try it. the first makeup product is the their real benefit mascara i got this on sale a while ago honestly probably should not be using this anymore it's kind of old but it's really really good i can show you guys the brush i'm actually wearing it right now that's what the brush looks like i usually wipe off the product before i put it on but it works super well for me. I really like it. It volumizes without making your eyelashes like too clumpy. The next thing is the Buxom lip gloss, which I'm also wearing. It's kind of rubbing off because I just filmed another video. But this is in the shade Kristen. I love this Buxom lip gloss because it has that like tingling feeling, but without feeling like uncomfortable. And this really pretty pink color, kind of translucent. I really like it. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed all my favorites. I know. I enjoy all these products on the daily, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!